Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have Tyler, and Tyler is 43 years old, and uh, we're just going to do a really quick evaluation. It's going to be for a cervical spine nerve root compression. Um, Tyler, you've been having some neck pain, arm pain, um, for quite a long time, correct? Yes. But how long has it been really bad? Uh, about three weeks. Three weeks, okay. And what is it you're feeling? Um, I have a sharp pain from the like base of my in the back of my neck by my hairline all the way down to my finger. Okay. With uh, some tingling. Anything in your chest or in your shoulder blade? Uh, back of the shoulder blade. Back right. of the shoulder blade also. Okay. Um, any tingling in that arm too? Yes. Okay. Um, now, how about sleeping at night? Uh, what are you doing to try to get yourself in a good uh, position? I have to prop myself way up with a whole bunch of pillows. Okay. On so my that, back. Yeah. 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 You like back. to you like to sleep on your stomach, right? Right. And that's not working. Not happening. Okay. Um, the other thing that we've noticed with Tyler is that he likes to position his neck slightly flexed to one side off toward me. That's very classic for a nerve root compression on the opposite side. What I like to do, and I've done a comprehensive evaluation, but I'm just going to get to it here to show you what a classic C7 nerve root compression looks like, okay? So I always like to start with reflex testing. So I'm going to have you relax that arm. Here's C7, okay? C5 and C6 are fine on both sides. Here's C7 on the left side. And I'm not getting any tricep here on this side, okay? Um, as far as sensation goes, we're going to have you hold up like this. And does this feel the same or different? That's yeah, a little different. Okay. How about here? Same or different? Uh, it's close, but it's a little different. Okay. What about under here? Uh, that's way different. That's way different. Okay. So C7, okay, middle finger. Now we're going to check the strength. So we're going to have you spread those fingers apart. So don't let me close them up. T1, don't let me close it. Good. Don't let me squeeze. Again, don't let me squeeze. Let's make some nice circles here. C8, hold tight. Hold tight, nice and strong. Okay, we're gonna bring the wrists up. C6, hold tight. Hold tight, good. C7, don't let me push that elbow up. Okay, good. And we're gonna bend this elbow a little bit. Don't let me push that arm up. Okay, he's really giving me nothing here, okay? Um, so, triceps, C7, loss of sensation, back of the middle finger, C7, uh, and what I'm going to do next is a Spurling's test. So I'm going to take your head and neck and I'm going to turn you and I'm going to extend the neck, laterally flex. Not comfortable? No, not at all. Anything going down the arm? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to rest you. Okay, so he has a positive Spurling's test. When I do traction of his neck and I flex him forward, he gets significant relief and he actually has an improvement in tricep strength. So if you want to take a look at the marquee maneuver, I will add that video in the show notes today so that you can check on that and see what that looks like, which is very positive for a C7 nerve root compression. And so um, because of the significant weakness, we attempted to do more traction to give him some relief. It was really no long lasting effect. He's tried a steroid taper, right? And that's yeah. really not changed anything nope. at all. Um, so we, we need to get an MRI and we need to, uh, you know, we're going to have a conversation with a neurosurgical specialist and, um, and see how you make out with that. So that's, uh, that's the story with Tyler. He's uh, most likely has a C7 nerve root compression and uh, we'll keep you up to date on how he's doing. So if you like today's video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.